Welcome to Biko's Myth Bustin' Mondays, where this week... Wait. Is that the sun? Hold on. Much better. You see, I'm Scottish. We can't risk missing this one day of the year. So, anyway, welcome to Miko's Myth Bustin' Mondays, where we take myths. Oh, I don't have any free hands. Hold on, I'll show you why. Easy, say hello. Say hello. Can't come out on a day like this and leave the dog behind. Anyway, the myth we are busting today is I don't have time to be creative. I'm pretty sure you've probably watched some of my videos and thought, yeah, this is all very well. But I've got tons of stuff going on and I don't have time to do all these things you're suggesting. And I can actually relate to that. However, did you know there's ways around it? I mean, we've got busy lives, right? We work, we have family, we try to keep our house in order, and sometimes we just want to sit down and relax. But creativity can be relaxing. So you can merge those two things. But no, I get it. Sometimes I just want to relax, watch a bit of TV, read a book, something like that. And that's fair enough. So maybe the best way is to start looking at your day and seeing where you could fit more time in. I think she's genuinely confused by the sun. For one day and one day only, what I'd like you to do, from the minute that you get up in the morning to the minute that you go to bed, I'd like you to note down what you're doing with your time. Not for me, not for anyone else, for you, just to see. I'm not trying to shame anyone here into saying, oh, you're wasting time or things like that. We're just trying to find a bit more of it. There's no, there's no judgment here. But yeah, you can find an hourly diary, or simply make it on a sheet of paper, whatever suits you, even in your phone, and just note down what you've spent your time doing. And I mean, even the five minute things that, you know, you probably think, oh, it's not worth noting that down. It really is because you want to get a really in-depth view into what you're doing with your time, where your time is going, and where you could maybe spare some for things that you enjoy to do, your creative pursuits. <laughs> at the end of that day, what I'd like you to do is have a look at it objectively. See where there is time where you could be combining two things, as in, if you're on a bus, you could be doing your creative pursuit while you're on the bus. Um, if you're waiting on an appointment, oh, look, she's coming to say hello. <laughs> is there something that you could actually encourage your family to do with you so that you get the enjoyment of your creative pursuit out of it without really giving up on any time with them? I mean, it's really not up to me to tell you how to work your time. And like I say, I'm not trying to shame anyone at all. But if you could sit and objectively look at it and just see where that you could work your time a little bit better, because I think you'll be surprised how much better your day gets when you can encourage just a little bit more creativity into it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to readjust the camera there because the sun was making me glow like a translucent alien. Didn't want to frighten anyone. <laughs> The midges have realised it's summer. I'm getting out of here. Isn't it cool how even creepy wee alleyways are really much nicer? Oh, no, that's broken glass. Never mind. One last thing. I'd like you to journal again, but this time what I want to see is if there's any marked improvements upon the way you feel after incorporating more creativity into your day. So thanks for joining me on this week's Myth Busting Monday, second last in the series before we start something new and exciting. Also, I'll have a vlog coming soon. I have some really important news to break to you. Enjoy the sun if you've got it. But if not, here's the time to be creative. Thank you for...